All right, so I'm hiking way out here in New York State, and I'm looking for more LiDAR anomalies. Last time I was out here, I found a treasure trove of LiDAR anomalies that turned out to be an interesting adit, actually a tunnel that went right through. Lots of really untouched prospect pits with lots of ore still left on the tailings. And now I'm a few miles south, uh, west, so I'm coming up on my first LiDAR anomaly right now. All right, we got our first anomaly and it's a prospect pit, definitely. So yeah, here's the tailings. Nothing wrong with prospect pits. Yep, look at the tailings. So this is a dam on the stream here. And it looks like there's a mill foundation or some other foundation over there. Wow, so I wonder if this had anything to do with the mine. Okay, so we got a little mound here. We saw it on LiDAR, but I didn't really think much of it. I mean, the prospect pits look, looked more impressive because it just looked like a circular mound. But when you come over here, we got an open attic. Uh, we actually got an open attic here. Look at the the gobbed up tailings on the side of the attic trench. Look at this wide open attic. Where does it go? Nice walk in height. Yeah, let's take a look what's in the attic. Tailings pile is small, so. Okay, yeah. There's the end, unless it turns. No, it doesn't. And we got water in there, so we probably won't go in and look for a vein. We're coming up on, on another... Ooh, oh wow. Oh my god, it's a whole tailings pile. Oh my god, this is huge. Wow, where did this come from? Where's the mine? This is weird. It's like a, just a tailings pile in the middle of nowhere. It's like a perfectly curated tailings pile. So the only thing I can think of with this tailings pile is that there was a shaft here that was bulldozed. And you could see like sometimes when there's this grass like this, I mean, that was probably planted. So likely somewhere around here, there was a shaft and it must've been really deep. I mean, the tailings pile is substantial and it must've been deep enough where it posed a safety hazard and it was bulldozed. size tailings pile actually. Oh nice, nice. Oh water's coming out pretty good. This is this has gotta be an attic. Let's see what we got. Yeah look at that. There's like a oh you know it's probably a collapsed attic. Oh it's open but it's flooded. Oh, oh that's too bad. I mean maybe when the water levels down we could get in this but that's just kind of flooded right up to the ceiling. I'm still gonna take a look in though. All right, let's take a peek in. Oh, oh my God, that's totally doable. There's plenty of air space. Oh, there's like a wood prop on the side there. Oh, nice. Yeah, this one is totally doable. There's enough air space to breathe, which is all you need. And the best thing about adits, they were always driven uphill. So they need to drain. So the, the mouth of the adit is always gonna have more water in it than the back. So if we go in this, we may eventually reach dry land. So who knows what could be back there. Plus there's the huge tailings pile up top. Maybe, that, maybe there's a shaft that this intersects somewhere. I don't know, I'm kind of liking this one. I think it's doable. It would be uh, definitely wetsuits and we would kind of go in probably, probably kind of like crawling. And hopefully there isn't too much buildup on the floor that's mucky and we could eventually get back to standing height. But I think this one's very interesting. There's a tremendous amount of tailings. There's, there's excellent 
um, lead ore, galena. So who knows what we might find in there. And just inside the attic, there's a wood prop. So there could be artifacts and timbering still left. So I think this one's definitely on the list.